Does war drive technology, or does technology drive war? The unaware promote both and are called humankind. There is a massive difference between human and humankind and can be separated in ways of even survivability or sheer disease. Humankind is not here for survivability and is only here to destroy all life, through the incessant and emotional growths, that are their very disease. I would say that war drives technology. All conflicts expose strengths and weaknesses that technology can improve on during in the process. Which technology most changed how war was fought? Directly, because it allowed building steamships, which made both sailing and road warships obsolete and enabled weather-independent naval warfare, and indirectly because Steam-powered merchantmen revolutionized troop and munitions logistics Steam-powered railways enabled assembling million-size armies and supplying them Steam-powered blast furnaces, hot blast, enabled mass production of good quality iron Steam-powered machinery enabled mass production of weapons, ammunition and materiel. Steam-powered tractors and agricultural machines revolutionized agriculture and vital logistics. Gunpowder was no game-breaker. Steam engine was. Throughout history, which war helped push technology to another level the most? The Second World War, no question about it. Radar, jet engines, the proximity fuse, new cryptography, and of course the atom bomb were all products of the war, and many more things as well. The untechnical innovation was unprecedented. Why do some militaries say that without technology in war you can't win? It's like saying some militaries say without ammunition you can't win. You can discuss with some intelligence how technologies have shaped war and will shape war but the fact that it is a vital component has been a blatant obvious undeniable fact for well over 2000 years. Let me correct that 5000 years it predates the brand's age. Do you believe war drives innovation? 100%, there's a quote that reads war is the mother of all inventions. And it isn't far from the truth. The best example is the development of aviation through World War I and World War II. Here's an example of what a plane would look like early on in World War I. Spindly, light, could be knocked out of the sky by a weighty potato. They would be initially used for reconnaissance only, surveying the battlefield. Later they would realize that from the height of a flying plane they could drop things on the enemies, which started with the likes of flechettes which were dropped onto enemy troops. They later used bombs to the same effect, and if they were to attack other planes, they would do so offhand using a pictal, not ideal. Later adding machine guns to their planes etc etc you know how it went with the Germans creating synchronized propeller and gun etc. Anyway, planes would develop to the likes of the Albatross. And bombers would be made. These are all massive pushes in technology in just four years. Now, let's move to World War II. Bit of an exaggeration of what all early World War II planes were like. Either way, the planes went from that to the many many jets that were made towards the end of the war. To conclude there was a huge development in aviation because of the world wars. And that is only mentioning aviation. There were hundreds of developments because of war, too many to answer. And so aviation is the best example. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Have a great day. Great day.